Hello and welcome to this short tutorial video. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how we can refine the mesh of a, do uh, of a geometry and domain inside the ANSYS Fluent. In some cases, after uh, creating your mesh and analyzing in the ANSYS Fluent, you see there are some uh, large gradient in some part of your domain. So you don't want to go to your uh, mesh application or software to change your entire uh, mesh inside your domain and just you want to uh, refine your mesh in some specific uh, area with a large gradient so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can do it so uh, we are using a simple uh, tutorial this is a, a fan uh, for a uh, fan for cooling the uh, CPU unit here this is our solid part and beside that we have our uh, Floyd uh, region here so I have a, a contour of temperature uh, I can display it you can see he, uh, here the temperature uh, there are a large gradient uh, in the top of our domain here so we want to just uh, refine our mesh here inside uh, our domain if I show you uh, the mesh inside our domain you see here this is something like this and if I display or temperature counter uh, I'm going to uh, refine the mesh here so first I will uh, take an, a screenshot uh, to compare this mesh with our new mesh so I just keep it as it is so for refining mesh we can go to the domain here and then to the adapt uh, menu and choose manual then in the cell register you choose new and you want to do the mesh adoption based on field uh, variable which is uh, here is temperature so first of all uh, I can simply uh, rename it or you can uh, keep it as it is uh, and for the type first I will choose the cell more than because I want to show it if the gradient is more than a value uh, it should be adopted or refined in that area and for uh, this part I will choose the gradient and for a scaling option I will choose a scale by global averaging uh, based on this selection uh, the fluent the fluent will be normalized uh, and this uh, temperature gr gradient based on the global average you can uh, simply choose other options as well here like zoom average or global maximum or zoom maximum then I will choose the temperature as my scaled gradient of temperature uh, if I com compute and use the compute key you see our value is between uh, almost 0 to 51 and for cell having value more than I will choose something between these two value between minimum maximum I will choose for example 10 it depends on uh, uh, how you you want to refine or mesh your, your mesh so I will choose it at as 10 and I will save uh, and display you see if we refine our mesh it should be something like this we uh, divided this part of mesh based on this gradient uh, and change it to this one so I will close this part and here now I have a scaled gradient which I have created recently I will choose it and if I just click on adapt option uh, I will divide my mesh into the new uh, type of mesh so I will do that just a little bit wait and then if I close this one uh, open my temperature gradient again and display uh, 
and if I choose draw display yes you see here uh, uh, just a moment I will draw it again close and save and if I compare this one with the previous one You see the cell is divided into the smaller uh, smaller part uh, based on or temp gradient te temperature gradient so we now we we've simply uh, we've simply uh, refine our mesh inside this zone uh, based on our gra temperature gradient so now we can do a new calculation and uh, uh, we can have a new run so based on this uh, new mesh uh, generation we can make a new uh, iteration and run and solve it again based on this uh, new meshes so thank you so much for watching